Today, I'm going head to head with a special friend over from Disney Food Vlog, and we're about to show you Animal Kingdom like you've never seen it before. It's Disney World like you've never seen before. Every park, the hotels, and more. In a massive, 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 massive tournament. Who will win? It's all your snacks! Three, two, one, go! Okay, bye! Oh, Whoa. bye! <laughs> okay, so we are starting off this Animal Kingdom scavenger hunt. I'm gonna head towards Discovery Island. Bria chose to go towards Asia slash Africa. So there's a few that are towards the front of the park. I'm gonna see if I can grab those and then we might come back to Pandora because there's quite a few here in Pandora. I believe there's one that says go see Quincy's favorite animal in the park. I know that her favorite animal is an anteater. I'm pretty sure he's at the front of the park in the oasis section which a lot of people don't even know that is that's an actual land in the park but it's the area that you walk past um, before you even see the tree of life and I'm pretty sure he's over there so we're gonna go look there really quickly goal of the game is to get five in a row right now I was thinking about this top row I thought it was gonna be a really easy strategy but I thought that maybe fry bucket was going to find a woman statue and say something in Navi I thought she was going to go ahead and do that and so I was trying to think two steps ahead so I'm actually gonna do um, this fourth row um, and we're going to head over to Dino Land and hit up some selfie walls while we're at it let's get started okay one of them is take a selfie at a selfie wall. So here's one nice little animal kingdom wall. So we're gonna take a selfie. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Done. Check. Let's keep going. What's happening? I'm sending it to Morgan. Cause I, you do have to send it to oh, Morgan. Oh yes, oh and you <laughs> sent it to Morgan, oh God. <laughs> Look at that crazy bird. Where? Sorry, Bria, I know that you're trying to win, but look at that crazy bird. Hey. Right there. Easily distracted. Right there. Oh, cute! So, I can't help but notice, uh, Sage, that you're here. Oh, hi. Sage <laughs> he's, won't leave me. He alone. said he's here to get behind the scenes content, but I kind of think he's scoping out the competition. This isn't really on my pathway, but I do want to point out an ice cream to mark one of them. A Nestle, how about a Mickey Premium bar? Over here at Baridi Baridi. Frybucket told me ahead of time that she walks really fast and that I should be ready, prepared to walk quickly today. And I was like, whatever, she's got little legs. She walks so fast, it's wild. There's one that says find ice cream on five different menus. So here at this cart in front of Island Mercantile, we're gonna count Mickey Premium Bar. So that is one. How do her little legs run like that? I know. How do they move like that? It's a skill. It's a skill. Oh, here we go. Now that Fry Bucket has got selfie wall, I've got to, since I'm already starting on that top row, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I actually was talking to Bria for walking past that clue. It's so funny when the clues are right behind them and then they walk right past them. And listen, I know, I used to play scavenger hunts. I used to play them all the time. And I used to walk past every clue on the board because I lost like almost every game. I won sometimes. I didn't lose all, okay, you know what I mean. But it's so funny when they walk past clues. That's like the joy of being a producer, especially when you make the board. I made this board. I was like, ha ha ha. Since I'm already starting on that top wall row, um, hold on. I just, I have a lot of thoughts right now. I'm just gonna keep finding ice creams. Here's another, it, same setup, same look but I'm gonna go over and look at the Nestle Mickey Premium Ice Cream Sandwich this time. So that is two ice That's creams. two ice creams. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little lap around here. So this is the area when like you're leaving the park or first entering the park. <sighs> Here's one. Okay. Um, Oh, well, it says main entrance sign. I can't use this, can I? Find the dragon in the main entrance sign. Does he count? No. Okay. That's fine. If it says main entrance sign, they mean main entrance sign. Okay. 
No, not here. See, there's quite a few little animals up here in the front that you might miss. So we're just, <gasps> no. No. If I had more time, I would be over at this pin station because I love pin trading immensely. It's so much fun. I love being able to bring my pins and trade around the park. I feel like I've literally taken the longest route that I could. No, um, there it is. This isn't the longest route. Thank there you. Are worse routes. Thank you. I, I appreciate the boat of confidence. <laughs> it's fine. I'm giving a fry bucket a head start. Bria, I don't need a head start, okay? I'm already going. Is that a rope bridge? Yay, we're gonna go do the rope bridge. Let's go. I'm already sweating. It's, it's so humid. <laughs> you walk so fast. I'm so sorry, but I wanna win. I so support you. Okay, cross a rope bridge. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's really, really a rope bridge. All right, Fry Bucket just got rope bridge and the first ice cream of five. She can't take my ice cream. Yeah, you're you're doing the ice creams. I thought that was agreed. Excuse you. I asked which one is this kind of strategy. I'm sorry. <laughs> For some reason, Fry Bucket did not want to tell you her strategy. Mean. I know. That's how mean. unkind of her. Hey, does um shaved ice count as an ice cream? Unfortunately, no. There's uh, no cream. That's rude. It is only ice. <laughs> that's very rude, but okay. So one of them says, find the dragon in the main entrance sign and tell us why it's there. There's not really a long line, so we could just walk, <laughs> walk out and scan right back in. Do I want to do that? I'm going to do it because it could potentially be on a row that I might want. So we're going to exit the park really fast and then come straight back in. So. So I have to find the dragon in the main entrance sign and tell us why it's here. So, in the original plans for Animal Kingdom, there was going to be a land called Beastly Kingdom with mythical creatures. Now, obviously that never came to be. We didn't get to see it played out, but you can still see him here on the sign and on the sign over at the bus stop too. So, that is why the dragon is here. Exciting news. Exciting news. I'm gonna get my first space and not, and be in the competition, so. Here we go. Ta-da! So, we are at a stone dog. Find a stone dog and pose with it. Very nice, good Hi, pose. Dog. Come on, breed love. I've got a scavenger hunt to win. We're going this way because there's another one that I can get over here. In Did the I take front. too long? What? Did I take too long? Yeah, keep I up. I was ta Come on. talking to the cast member. She's I know, from Mount Vernon, I know, New York. Nice. I had to talk to a New Yorker. If I lose you, it's your fault, not mine. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so over here, we should be able to find. Oh no, I don't see any monkeys. They're actually apes, fun fact. <gasps> I don't see any apes. Does that mean that doesn't count? What if I point out that duck over there? I, I unfortunately don't think the duck counts. Do I have to see the animal if I'm at the exhibit and I know that there's an ape at this exhibit? I think, exhibit? yes, you have to see a living animal. No! I know. Quincy, why are you doing this Rushing to me? News. So the Rainforest Cafe is technically in the front of the park. You can actually enter the Rainforest Cafe before you even walk into Animal Kingdom, before you scan in. So if you have a reservation, over at Rainforest Cafe, you go there to eat lunch or dinner. You can actually come into the park through this way. So just to be safe, I'm gonna show you to make sure I can check this one off. But, so they actually have scanners over here for you to scan in to get into the park. It's a secret little entrance. So pro tip, if the main entrance is super crowded, you can come over here for most likely a shorter wait. I could totally go to Kite Tails right now. Hold on, Kite Tails is happening. What am I doing? I gotta get the kite tails. There's All a right, space she got, for that. She got secret park entrance and dragon. No! Oh my gosh. Fry look, it's fast. Ah. Still haven't come across our anteater friend. And I really don't. Okay, then go to Daxter 
I don't know if I've missed him or maybe I'm looking in the wrong part of the park, but I just wanted to check this one just in case. Check up here so that I know I don't have to come back up here. Oh, here we go. I literally can't go believe Quincy's favorite animal <laughs> that you the got park. this. Um, Did you cheat somehow? No. You knew, you knew. I had an idea that he was probably up here because there's not any ant eaters at the rest of the park. Wow. Because I was like, I was like, where else can he be? I'm very um, impressed. I don't see him out right now, but there's this, he's supposed to be here. Well, he may be in his lair. Can you pull out your ants in her mating call, please? Oh my gosh, she knows it. Is that true? I just made that up. I don't know. Oh, <gasps> oh he's right there. Oh, I'm so sorry. I woke him up from his nap. I'm so sorry. I love that anteater. It's so cute. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Thank you. You're helping me win. Holy, you woke him up. I'm so sorry. No, it, I mean, it's, it's I woke him up from his nap. You, you, you have such a way with animals. I guess I do. It's a miracle. I guess I do. Oh, well. Okay, well, we can check him off the list. Go to the Discovery River Amphitheater to find the best seats in the house for kite tails. Unfortunately, when this video comes out, kite tails is not gonna be here, which is so sad. We were all big fans. Um, and we're interested to see what's gonna come next and what they're gonna replace it with. We've seen shows here in the past and uh, I've stopped really quick because I found another ice cream stop. I'm really good at the ice cream. You're good at the ice cream. So let's, <laughs> okay, hold on. But technically. Technically, I pointed out these already, unless you would count. Nope. Carry it. Ice, I don't know how to do No that. cream. No cream. No cream in you that ice. Your technicality. <laughs> but here's the thing. I do know where another ice cream place is. Yeah. I do, and it's right over here, and I'm gonna point one out that I love oh so much, and it does have cream in it. It is the Yeti Sunday, A chocolate soft serve, topped with vanilla soft serve, blue cake crumbs, and sugar sweet snowflakes, and a chocolate Yeti image. Score! Actually, I didn't get a point because I only have three ice creams that I found, but you know, that's my third one. So we're gonna do a little wait time check because one of them says find the shortest wait in the park. So we're just gonna see what that is. At this point, my strategy just might be to block Fry Bucket at every corner so that she she just can't get five in a row. <laughs> it's tough to be a bug. It's only ten minutes. Yeah, it's this way. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go. Fun fact about me. I hate bugs. Absolutely terrified. I'll be honest, I rode, um, what is it, Forbidden Journey at Universal? Cried. Like, ball sobbing. Because I hate spiders. It was gross. No. Okay. So find the shortest wait time in the park and name three things that I do to kill time in line. Um, number one, you can, I like to play heads up on the phone. Um, number two, I do like to peruse the mobile order page on my Disney experience to see what's available because you never know. And number three would be TikTok. I do enjoy TikToks in line. So, ta da! Okay, so we are at Expedition Everest right now, another detour before we go to Kite Tales. And, um, Quincy, I don't, I don't want to ride it. I don't want to see the Yeti. I'm evading the Yeti. Oh, okay, all right. You gotta ride it. Wait, no! no. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yep. You gotta uh, ride it. That is not what it says. Oh my god. Is, it says evade a Yeti. I, I, you and your technicalities. Ha, you did not say ride. You gotta ride it. You said evade. You're not really I'm evading. evading. It's not trying to get you right now. So you don't know that? It. You don't know I that? I do know that. <laughs> I do know I'm it. in great danger. I'm not in any danger. I have six right now and Bria only has one. Now here's, here's the deal. Uh, I don't really have any... I'm not going to the same line right now, which could be a bad thing. I don't, I don't know yet. I think next I'm gonna go to Pandora, get a few of those done, and then we'll go from there and see what else I have to do. 
because I know where quite a few in Pandora are. So we're gonna just knock those off because we're right here. And hopefully that will work in my favor. Okay, we're going into the Discovery Rim River Amphitheater. Okay, so let's go over here. Fry Bucket is so quick and she was getting spots left and right and I had only gotten like one and she had gotten what, a, a gazillion? And so I had to switch strategies halfway through and realize that if I wanted to have some sort of, you know, hope in this competition, I was going to have to start playing defense instead of offense. What we love about these seats is that when we're watching kite tails, the kites actually crash in these bleachers right here. I feel like I'm not participating because I'm not clapping. There we go. I don't want to be a party pooper. I'll clap. But bleachers right there. That's where the kites crash at the end of the show. It's hysterical, and we're gonna miss seeing it. Maybe we'll have crashing, kite, crashing kites in the future. I don't know. We'll see. So first time we counted the Mickey Premium Bar, and now we can do the ice cream sandwich. So this is a different stand for my five different ice creams. So there's number two, the ice cream sandwich. Has one minute passed? Thanks. Can I come out of timeout now? You can. I literally just made the joke that you were in timeout. It feels like it. Okay. I got one on the board. You got multiple on the board. You're cruising. Bria just got sit in the best seats for kite tails for one minute. And because of where it is on the board, it blocked me in two different rows. So that was a very good move on Bria's part. I will give her that. So we're gonna snag as many as we can in Pandora and hopefully it becomes a numbers game. Oh, just got rained on by that Pandora plant. But we're, we're gonna see what I can do. We're just gonna grab these. the Yeti. All right. Uncle evade him. All right. Coming after you, Yeti. Oh, now the Yeti's gonna have to evade you. That's right. Will it yeah, still right. count? <laughs> we are gonna save some time here and I'm going to go in the single rider line. But look, I'm walking right up and I'm about to ride, so. Let's go evade a Yeti. Okay, while well, I'm in Pandora, um, one on the board says go to the best bathrooms in the park and say why they're the best. I'm gonna say these back here in the back of Pandora. So the mountains are over here. Satuli Canteen is that way. These bathrooms are a lot more hidden. They're very well themed. So to me, these are the best bathrooms in Animal Kingdom. Okay, we've got another one. It says find an Ace exclusive popsicle and name its flavors. So over here in Pandora, right next to the mountains, right next to my favorite bathrooms, We've got the Fruits of Mawara Fruit Bar, and the flavors are strawberry, lime, and raspberry. It is an ace exclusive. You can only get it here in Pandora. There's kite tails. Found another one, so over here by the mountains. Find a woven statue and say something in Navi. Siva So there's a woven statue right next to Navi River Journey. It's a statue of a shaman. Like the one on the ride. Yeti time. Let's evade him. We're doing this together, guys. Evade the Yeti. Or did he evade me? Um, 
Okay, so I think I'm starting to see a new strategy because I have three in a row and I have a good idea about where the final two are. However, I'm gonna get this one last thing in Pandora before I leave, just in case I need it. Whoa, hold on. Just in case I need it for numbers later. And actually it's over here, I almost passed it, I believe. Now I know that this exists. I need to find it in person, but it says find a crashed helicopter and I know it's in Pandora. I know oh, it's- Oh no, not the music. No, I'm so embarrassed. Exactly where the spot is, but I know it's somewhere on this side. Yo, Quincy, Yeti evaded. That was so fast. <laughs> right? Single lighter ran. You really ran Single from that Yeti. rider. How long did you, did you walk on? Basically, there was like maybe three people in front of me. Wow. I'm telling you, single rider. I think it's a little bit over. I'm wondering. I'm wondering what Breed Love is thinking. I wonder if I passed it and he's just like. Girl, it's right there. It's <laughs> that way. Oh, we're gonna walk around in circles. See about go. I know that it's in here and I don't wanna waste too much time, but I would like to grab it before I leave. So, Frybucket was able to get a lot of spaces while I was riding Expedition Everest. I have no regrets. I love that ride, but We've got to make up for some lost time. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into Dino Land and we're going to say hi to Chester and Hester uh, and block her because I think I know where she's going. Ugh. There's so many paths in Pandora. I feel like I've walked by it all. Am I missing it? <sighs> I've never wanted to find a helicopter so bad in my life. Here we are in Dino Land, which we don't know what's gonna happen to Dino Land. That's true. Uh, hopefully. It could be anything. It could be anything. It could stick around. It could become Zootopia. We haven't stopped walking fast since the game started. Are you yelling at me through your screen? I, I, I'm out of breath. I have officially given up on the helicopter for now, and we're gonna move on. And maybe come back later if I need to. My goodness, it's very well camouflaged. Now she's moving on from the helicopter. We just looked all that time. It's right back there. It's right back there. Okay. I just need to keep walking a little further back. <laughs> So many pictures. So Chester and Hester are actually a pretty big deal in Dino Land. Um, back in uh, the ye old days, this actually used to be, um, according to the story at least, this used to be a gas station until they actually discovered dinosaur bones in this area. And so they had to, you know, retheme a little bit keep up with the times, make sure that they were getting a lot of people coming in, <laughs> a lot of tourists coming in um, that were dino-centric, dino-enthusiast. Um, and so they came up with this lovely little niche kitsch gift shop. See, you can even see gas pumps from back when this was supposed to be a gas station, according to the story. And now here they are, the owners themselves. Chester and Hester. Hey guys! There's no stopping her. <laughs> I thought I was ready. I thought, did you hear how confident I was about keeping up with her at the yeah, beginning of the were. game? I talked such, I was like, oh, I'm the OG. I, I produced the first ever episode. Yeah. All right, well, have fun. <laughs> Tell my family I love them. <laughs> hey guys, you see that? I see a little ice cream. Just a teeny tiny little ice cream, but this place actually has a whole bunch of flavor. I have to show you the ice cream cookie sandwich. Look at that. Now that is a DFB staple. We love ourselves a good old ice cream sandwich from Dino Bites. It's one of our favorite things to hit up while we're in Dino Land, USA. You need to try it. And I just got my fourth ice cream place. Okay, so this is Harambe Market. A couple of quick service options. You can get some food, lots of seating. 
place to take a break and the Rafiki's Planet Watch train is gonna come right through here, hopefully momentarily. I don't wanna wait too long, but we're gonna wait for it because we're already here. So, okay. Just gotta wait now. Oh, I think I'm getting it. I think it's I think it's happening. I'm with you, I've got here. Okay. It is a trilobite twist. Dole Whip, orange, and vanilla soft serve ice cream. There we go. That was five ice creams. I, if I do nothing else in this game, I found five ice you creams. Beat, you beat Fred Bucket to the ice there cream. There we go. That's all that matters. That's all that really you matters. You won the tournament. <laughs> I, like, pin drops, board drops. I'm not actually gonna drop it because I need to hold on to it, but mic drop. It's there. <laughs> I got it, okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're good. It is so busy here. We are not used to seeing it this busy in Animal Kingdom. Usually it's a pretty chill park and the ride lines aren't bad, they're not terrible. Also, off in the distance, I can see Kevin over by the Asia entrance, and that's pretty cool stuff. Kevin! Right across from the Discovery Trading Company, you can actually find some ring-tailed lemurs. We are clashing properties here, and we are going into DreamWorks territory with this one as I do my best King Julian impression. I can't wait. <laughs> Maurice, what do we have on the schedule today? I think I will be lounging around being king, but you can do whatever you want. King Julian, there are no lemurs behind you. What? Then why am I here? What is the fact? This duck? This feathered friend? <laughs> king Julian, uh, I insist you, you dance. Please, I'm... please, we must dance together. We're not going. King Julian, that wasn't part of it. You like, you like to move it? You like to move it? I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it! <laughs> Unintentionally, but also kind of intentionally, it has turned into a numbers game. And I believe I only need three more to win to have enough to where Bria could not beat me. And we are in Harambe Marketplace. We just left um, one of... The squares that I would like to go for is find a fishing shop and do your best fishing charade. I don't know exactly where this fishing shop is, but I saw a sign on a building about fishing when Sage is with us. Okay, I think it's falling down to a game of numbers because we blocked each other where we can because Fry and I came to attack. <laughs> and so it's all gonna come down to whether I can just stay on course and not get distracted by She's like very fast. Bird. She is so She's fast. So quick. And she doesn't even run. She's just like it's just, it's just her little legs. Like yeah. she she knows where she's going. She's got a mission and she's gonna pursue it. So I admire that. Okay, maybe the fishing shop is back over here somewhere. So, walking past the hotel. Sign for the hotel, it's not really a hotel, that's Tusker House. Um, I don't know where this is. All right, here we go. I'm about to mark a place because we're going to wave at Timon. I'm going to give the PhotoPass people some space because there are some families that are taking some super cute photos. But I can wave from him from here, I'd say. You can. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Quincy approves. She doesn't approve of everything, but she but approves I'm... of this. So, um, she has feelings. I have really strong feelings about some of these rules. I'm going to drop this. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. See him? See him? But he has to wave back though, so.
I wish I could see the look on her face. That you blocked her? I blocked her. Vicious. I blocked her so good. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. Think, think, think. I, do, I don't think it's going to be back that way with Asia. Uh, okay, Bria got another one. I need to... Uh, I'm losing my momentum. Wait a second. Wait! Wait, there's a boat on that wall. A boat. Boat means fishing shop, I believe. It has to because I don't think the fishing shop would be over in Asia. I think it's going to be here. I mean, this is just a restroom. Okay. Okay, the fishing... Oh, Breed Love is all the way back there. He cannot keep up. <gasps> here it is. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, we're good. Fishing tours. Um, okay. Lion King friends, we're at the Otter Grotto, so, you know, twofer. They've also got this little Otter Grotto enclosure where you can see them. If they weren't sleeping, they'd be swimming. And that's super cute too. So without further ado, five sidekicks. Oh my <laughs> Five sidekicks. Pascal, Hua, Abu, I almost said genie, but I feel like I gotta break out of the Aladdin shell now. Yeah, come but on. it just, you yeah. know. You're better than that. <laughs> I'm better than that. Sebastian. And let's go with um, Ray from Princess and Frog. Oh, yeah, good one. Not from Ray Yoda? <laughs> What's happening now? Okay, we're gonna go back to Pandora because I am really determined to find that helicopter. I have seen it before. I, I feel like I didn't have a strategy when walking through Pandora the first time, so I'm really gonna go through every single pathway this time to make sure that I find it. Because I know I can. I only need two more to win. Hello! There you go, you got, you got my good side. Thank you. Okay, okay, so if the three of us were Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa, oh, no. who, who, would, who would each of us be? <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> if we were Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. Yeah. Who well, who's the gassiest? That's what we have to answer first. Daddy Sage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Out, of, out of the three of us, I guess I suppose I would be the Pumbaa. I'll be Timon. You can be Simba. I'll be Simba. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I think that fits really well. I... Daddy Sage? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want to be Pumbaa. Um, but I'm going to find it. But again... I don't want to waste too much time. It shouldn't be this hard. This is so pretty. This is seriously my favorite land out of all the Disney parks. And looky here, guys. Maybe I can walk through all of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How more obvious can it be? I think I found Mia. Is that a crashed helicopter? It is. Wow. Hey, here's a fun fact. I had no idea where that helicopter was. I stumbled upon it on accident. Did I get it? Did I get it first? You got it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah, no. who got this right now? Okay. Did Bria get it? Oh, really? Should we be looking? Should we? Did you send it in the app? I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, I was filming her and running. So who got okay. it? You did. Yes! Oh, yes. there it is. By about, you... by about 30 seconds, you got it. Yes. Don't celebrate too soon, Bria. Oh. oh. Ow. Oh. I felt that. I felt that <laughs> yeah. physically. I'm sorry. Oh, that's oh. 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 Scavenger hunt. This was fun. really fun. Yeah. It was fun. You guys are so good at just like, can I just say you guys are such, such good producers? Those are really fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. why? Because I miscounted and oh, she's gone again. She's gone. You better go get her. <laughs> There's no time for talking. I have to win. Ugh. Okay, so I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bria has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. We're getting close. 
I wonder what she's gonna go for. I feel like the fastest one might be win a prize, possibly. So maybe we go over to Dino Land. Maybe they have face painting over there too, and I could get both of those done. I just hope that I don't go over to go get my face painted. And Fry Bucket's already there getting her face painted. That would just be the worst the, case tell scenario. The artist, paint my face but really fast. I, I just really want to quick just scribble on my just face. On my okay, now we're making it over to Dino Land USA. Where right now it's Donald's Dino Bash, which is a super fun theme over here. But first. The reason we are here is because one of the squares on the board says win a prize. And over in Dino Land, there are a bunch of carnival games. So we're gonna go pick one, and I'm gonna win a prize. And then we will only have one more. We are playing for one of my medium sized prizes, which is gonna be here in the middle. So good luck, have fun. Here we go, it's on the bell. Good luck, three, two, one. Africa because we have seen the face painting station. I know where it is. If we pass one along the way, even better. But that's the one that I for sure know where it is. So we're just gonna go back that way. And hopefully, hopefully Bria is not getting her face painted right now as we speak because that would ruin my plan. Fry Bucket won a prize. No, you're not even kidding me. Yeah, she won a prize. So she went to Dinoland, you uh, Chester and Huskers, and she won a prize on the little carnival. Thing. She might have a dinosaur, but I look like Minnie Mouse, so <laughs> you're taking that really to heart. You're like, oh. <laughs> oh no, there's Quincy. Where's Bria? Oh no. Oh gosh, I gotta go. Plot twist. Bria has her face painted, so now I just need one more. So we're gonna see where they do veterinary procedures. That is over at Rafiki's Planet Watch. Oh gosh, now I'm nervous. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. In the caricatures. Is oh, that a what? unicorn I see? Yeah. I believe that's a unicorn I uh, see. The look of shock on my face is so serious. I put that clue on the board thinking that they could only get it if they went out to the parking lot because there's a unicorn section in the parking lot. I was like, there's no way there's another unicorn in Animal Kingdom. And Bria found one on a caricature? That's insane! What a good eye! Hmm, interesting. I guess I found I guess a unicorn. Counts. Yeah, it counts. Wow. Wait, what? It counts. It counts. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, you might be wondering, what is Rafiki's Planet Watch? Well, I'm here to tell you. Rafiki's Planet Watch is a building, an area past Africa in Animal Kingdom. You have to take a train to get there. That is the only way to get here. You take the train over to Rafiki's Planet Watch and you can learn more about animals. It is where you can take the animation class where you can learn to draw one of your favorite Disney characters from a real Disney animator. Um, that is totally free to do. You get to take home a free souvenir. It's really fun. I've done it multiple times. I really enjoy that. It's also the place where they do veterinarian procedures. So if animals get sick or they get hurt, they will bring them back here to do the procedure. And sometimes on the very, very rare occasion, you can see one happening. 
So this is where they have veterinary procedures. Dun -dun -dun -dun. How do you feel, Fry Bucket? I feel very good. Yeah. So happy. Minnie's happy. Yeah. So now we're going to go find the rest of the crew. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I have come to you again. And so, <laughs> so sorry, so sorry. Fry Bucket, you're going to the semifinals. How do you feel? I feel really good. I was like, the middle is where I try to come back. Because at the beginning, I almost called it right then. Because they were telling me, they're like, Fry Bucket's got this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And I was like, I don't even know where to start yet. Like, there's a lot more fun to come in the All Ears Scavenger Hunt. Tune in next week to see two new competitors take on another challenge. We can't wait.